What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome to this brand new mini series on basic melee combat in Unreal Engine 5 and you can also follow this in Unreal Engine 4 if you're still using Unreal Engine 4 for some reason. In this series we are going to be taking a look at how to do basic attacking animations, basic combos, basic hit detection and also hit reactions. So that will be all that we're going to be covering. It's probably going to be like four videos. The entire series is already fully on Patreon by the time you see this on YouTube. So if you want instant access to everything, check out Patreon because that's where the stuff's going to be. And without further ado, let us get started. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is which animations I'm going to be using for this tutorial. Now I got these off of the marketplace and they are very, very cheap. So yeah, just you can either get any animations you want or you can go to mixamo.com and uh, download animations, convert them for the Unreal Skeleton and all of that stuff. I've already covered that so many times, so I'm not going to do it again. I will put a link to a video that I did previously on this topic, so you can check it out if you need to. But anyway, um, we want to go to the content drawer, dock it in the layout, and I want to show you the animations. So it's ARPG Warrior animations, and here they all are. So... Mainly, we're, we're only going to be using the attack animations, so I want to show you the attack animations. So if you put it in the level and press play, you can see that it's root motion. For this tutorial, you can use animations that are not root motion, but I would really like recommend having root motion in your animations because that's what moves the character forward when they actually move. So yeah, get animations with root motion or if you're animating make sure to animate the root bone. The walking animations don't have to be root motion. We're not going to be touching that, just the attacking animations. I prefer root motion, but it's not really required. So these animations, they do use the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. I'm just going to... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for attack, then get all of the attacking animations, right click, retarget animation assets, duplicate and retarget. And over here in the IK retargeter, I'm going to select Unreal Engine 4 Manny to Unreal Engine 5 Manny and the folder which is going to be the content I'm just going to put it in the ARPG Warrior folder so now you just hit retarget and the animations will actually all be perfect so you can see they all work perfectly you know I had to retarget because um, this pack I got it from another account and I don't have the password anymore to download it. So yeah, I just migrated it from another project. If you download it these days, it's probably going to have the Unreal Engine 5 version. So you might not need to do this. But anyway, after you have retargeted the animations, I want to right click on all of them selected, asset actions, bulk edit via property matrix, and we are going to enable root motion. So enable root motion and also force root lock. This is not really 100% uh, necessary, but for this animation pack, I prefer it. So anyway, now we have all of the animations ready for the attacking. We're probably not going to be using all of those, but still nice to have them. Now we want to code the attacking so that when you press the left mouse button, your character is going to play the attacking animation. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to project settings, and over here, there's the input button or category. Then in the action mappings, press plus. New action mapping, I'm just going to call it attack. And you can just either press on this one and then press whatever button you need, or you can search for it over here. So left mouse button. There we go. Now, with that done, we want to go to, to the character itself, the character blueprint, and we need to do that when we press the, that input that we've just created. So if you open the character in the event graph, you know, the character is in the blueprints folder, by the way, you probably have your own character blueprint if you're making a project seriously, but still, yeah, this is good for learning purposes. Anyway, you want to right click, search for attack and there you go input action attack now when you press the attack button what we're gonna do is we're gonna play montage and for now we're just gonna use one animation so over here you have the mesh we want to like tell it which mesh to play the montage on so that's the mesh itself which is the character mesh 
and also montage to play. Now we have these animations, but they are not actually montages. So I'm just going to select like a random animation. So probably just the first one, right click, create anim montage. And now the anim montage is ready. So over here, if you have the animation selected, you can press this button to just insert it, or you can open this and search for it. And actually, if you press compile and hit play, it's probably going to work. So you can see, but you can like interrupt it whenever you want to. And also there's one more thing with this animation pack. It doesn't really work with the IK that's that comes with the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin. So I'm going to have to go and disable that. But if you are using other animations, it's not going to be a problem for you. So there's that. So I'm going to go to characters, mannequin, Unreal Engine, no, just mannequins, and then animation blueprint Manny, which is the one we're using right now. Despite having Quinn, Quinn is just a child actor. You go to the anim graph, and this is the one we want to deactivate. So just plug this straight in there. And now if you press play, you can see that the leg movement actually works now. And the animation is not that great, but still it's good for testing and prototyping. So that's great. So anyway, I'll, I'm going to close the animation blueprint and we want to be able to not really interrupt this with another attack because right now you can just spam this and it sucks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Boolean. So go to variables, press this plus button, and I'm going to call this attacking and then get attacking right click branch and then connect attacking to the branch and when you press you check if you are attacking if you are not attacking we will play the animation montage but before that we're going to drag out of here and we're going to set attacking to be true so now we will set this boolean to be true when we attack the first time and then once we play the montage we are not going to be setting this back to false unless we have completed the animation or we have interrupted the animation with something else other than attacking so if you press play now you can see that it doesn't happen it doesn't let you attack more than once so that's great so now it works and you can attack only once but what if you actually need to just have more than one animation? So we are going to be doing that actually. So it's going to be a combo since we have, you know, multiple attacking animations. We have combo one, two, three, four. Yeah, just four of them. So we have four attacking animations. We're going to have to implement all of them. So we have combo one. We already have like attack one. We have the animation montage for that. So I'm going to select the three other ones, right click, create anim montage. And now we have montages for all of them. Now I'm going to go back to the character blueprint and um, like over here, the montage to play, we want to specify a different montage each time, each time you attack. So um, I'm going to create another variable and I'm going to call this one attack count. And this one is going to be an integer and we're going to get attack count increment it. So increment, it will add one whenever this one is hit, hit. So this is better than the add in this case, since we are only going to be adding one each time. So each time it plays the montage, we are going to be increasing the attack count to be like right, right at the start of the play montage we're going to increase the attack count so that's great and after that we are going to be using a, a thing called select node so select nodes will let you choose between different options that you have so for the montage we are going to be just dragging out using this select node and the select node is supposed to look like this it's a pitchfork there is another one but this is the one that we need so this will select based on a variable a condition so you can either use like um, booleans or if you undo you can use the attack count which is exactly what we need since we have four animations i'm just going to add pins until until there are four of them and you can see over here that we have 
like the choice to just put four animations. So for option zero, we're gonna put attack one, option one, attack two, option two, attack three, and option three is gonna be attack four. And it's probably gonna work now, but there will be an issue. So if you go here, one, two, three, four, and you can see that there's a problem and it's the fact that you cannot really like uh, do it immediately because it won't let you attack until the animation is completed. So we are gonna be disconnecting this one. And instead what we are gonna be doing is we're gonna be um, setting it to false if it's not really completed, but if it reaches a certain point in the animation, other than the fact that it's from like it's interrupted. So we want to go and create a point inside of the animation that will uh, like it will set this to false, but it's not really the uncompleted because you want to be able to attack at some point in the animation, but not really like when it's over. So over here we have these montages. I'm going to open the first one and then we want to choose the point where it will let you attack again after the first attack in the combo. So it's after she's done swinging over here, you're going to be able to attack again. So notify, right click, add notify, new notify, and I'm going to call it can attack again. And now I'm going to copy this one and then go back to the second um, animation montage. And we want to choose that point over here again. So after she's done swinging, paste it over here and then go to the third animation. You hit and paste it over here. So this is the point where the player should be able to um, go and hit the attack button again before the end of the animation. And if the end of the animation comes, the combo is going to reset. So this is the window that you have to do the next attack. And then we have the third one. There we go. It's it's this point. But you know, since the this is the last animation, wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Since this is the last animation, you should like, if you'd like, you can actually disable the part where like you could put it at the end if you don't if you want to have the player become slower after the last attack but i'm just going to place it over here we did add the notify but we didn't really specify what to do with it so we should go back to the animation blueprint again and specify so it's animation blueprint mani and inside of the event graph we need to just search for the animation notify so can attack again event anim notify can attack again we're going to cast to third person character and the object we should just copy get owning actor and over here we're going to search for set attacking and it's going to be false so now you know when when they reach the anim notify this is going to be set to false, which is exactly what we need. And uninterrupted, it should be the same, so that's okay. But, you know, if the attack is interrupted by something else, you probably want to set the attack count back to zero because you want to reset the combo. And also, um, uncompleted, it should also set the attack count back to zero, so that's okay. And I think we should be good. Let's give it a try and see if it works. There's probably something missing. So I can tell you what's missing. And it's the fact that we have uninterrupted over here. And when the attack is interrupted, we set it back to attacking. Like we set it to not attacking and we reset the combo. And that's not what we want because interrupting the animation with an attack animation shouldn't do that. You have two options, which is to use a re-triggerable delay which will give it time after it's interrupted and each time you attack it will re-trigger the delay. So this delay I'm going to make it 2.5 seconds which will give the character enough time to play whatever animation. You know I would usually just check whatever the longest animation is over here and then make it a little bit longer than that. A like just just a little bit. 
but still you know this is gonna work it's not gonna be a problem for now since we don't have any other actions but you can see that you have a combo system and it's looking perfect so yeah that's just great so guys that was it for the first video in my melee combat series in the next video we are gonna be detecting hits onto the next enemy so if you guys enjoyed the video do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button and like the video you know it's been really hard for me to get back into making tutorials but i'm finally back and it's gonna be great i'm gonna try to be as consistent as possible probably like i want to be more active than my most active year which was 2020 so yeah if you want to see more tutorials and you are new to the channel subscribe and if you are not new Make sure to hit the like button because, you know, that would tell me that you are enjoying this type of content. And again, special thanks to my precious patrons. And if you want to get full instant access to the series, make sure to just uh, check out my Patreon. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Have a great day and bye.